Hello viewers at home, welcome to the lifestyle and entertainment segment of Voice Over Worry. I am Aisha Tisu. Today I have with me the brain behind Voice Over Worry, Mr. Oluwashi Oyetoro. You're welcome, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm pleased to have you. Um, today being your birthday, how do you feel? Uh, well, I feel so excited. As you can see, um, you know, I'm very, very happy. I'm about the most happiest person on here today. I feel honored to have you have me in your studio today. All right. Well, recounting your experiences in life, what is your most memorable event? Well, life has been you know, good to me, fair enough. You know, I've been through so many hurdles. I scaled some. I, I nearly scaled through some, but to the glory of God, I think um, it's, been, it's been good, it's been good. Um, my most memorable experience perhaps should be when I, um, I resigned from my last job to take up this uh, Voice of Bawari initiative. It, was, it, was, it wasn't something very easy to come by, you know, now, having to resign a very lucrative job at that because you have the interest of your community at heart. I did it. I, 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 for once, I've never regretted in, in, in more than a year. Most of our worry, perhaps, is, is something is still in the pipeline. But by the glory of God, very soon, I'm very, very confident that, that with the pace at which we're going, you know, most of our worry is actually going to be something that the whole world is going to bestow. So behold, so um, my most memorable experience has to do with when I resigned my last job to take up this initiative. All right. Um, looking at um, Voice of Our World presently, what do you have to say about it? Like in in the next five years, where do you see Voice of Our World? If you're a preview of uh, the last interview I, I was granted by, uh, of course, TVC and uh, MITV that was during our launching, I was asked the same question. I told them that. They should watch out for Voice of Our in the next five years. I, I told them that CNN should, should watch out, BBC should be careful, you know, the Al Jazeera, because we are not going to be competing with the likes of AIT, you know, uh, 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 TVC and the, the terrestrial TV stations in Nigeria. We're going to stretch our tentacles across the shores of Nigeria. We're going to compete, I mean, Fox News and you know, Al Jazeera. It's possible. We can. Wow. That's so interesting. Is it um, voice of looking at Voice of Our Is it just a newspaper? Uh, well, voice of Our or... it's not just a newspaper production. The newspaper production is just a segment of Voice of Our Worry. We have so many departments, so many segments. We have the newspaper, we have the online publication, we run on a website, we have we we're everywhere on the social media, we grace events, you know. We are, we have you know we have very soon okay we are we are initiating an online television for now very soon we're planning okay perhaps if everything goes you know according to plan we're going to be having a radio station uh, perhaps TV station in the next couple of you know years to come everything is possible. That that means Voice of Our is dipping its hands into every sector. You say so. Yeah. You say so. Okay, we are talking about your birthday. So. Oh. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. Yes, thank so you. So are you going to host the staff and perhaps, oh, perhaps a, a small party? It's an automatic. You know, the most important thing about birthday celebration to me, I think, is just to sit down, to take a deep reflection about life, how far you've gone, where you're coming from. You know, I think my best birthday celebration, I, I should perhaps, I, I was always thinking I could host my birthday at the graveside. You, you asked me why. There were times when I was in, in the higher institutions, I, I, I wrote something on uh, my Valentine at the graveside. You know, when you go to the graveside, you sit down beside or just, you know, at the graveside, it's quiet, it's reflective, you're going to take a deep thinking about, you know, this is where actually I'm going to. So if you ask me, uh, of course, my staff, my members of staff, they're going to have a free meal ticket today, <laughs> morning, afternoon, perhaps dinner. You know, but, but my, you know, birthday, I perhaps want it to be at the graveside. I want to sit down, take a deep and sober reflection about life, where this is my, where I'm actually going to. So it's going to prepare me along and, okay, uh, this is, okay, I should cut this off. I should make sure I achieve this, you know. I should make sure that everything works together so that I will end up very well. Wow. 
sitting at the graveside and having a routine about your life that's thoughtful actually yes. but don't you think birthday is is another um opportunity given to you to like actualize your plans and not really taking a reflection looking at those that have ended actually when i said i was going to sit on the graveside i have not said i was going to lay down you know my, my fight i was going to you know just you know forfeit my plans my future i just want to take that day second of august you know every year i just want to sit down think you know have i really come to you know terms have i really achieved so many things i have so many plans in the pipe pipeline so that is actually going to tell me like how far have you gone if you're you know a year closer to where you know you're sitting down today how many years do you have you know you don't know you just want to you know do things if you still have the capacity the ability the energy to do things, you want to do it energetically, and you know, with that, you achieve more results. I believe that. Wow. Well, we've heard a lot from him. What do you have to say to the viewers at home, your staff, and the general public, so to say? Well, my staff, I, I want to appreciate you guys. I mean, you know, even more than a family to me, even you know. Even the brain behind Voice of our Worry, I give it up to you if I'm permitted to kiss you guys on on on, on, <laughs> on here. So perhaps I, I want to just know, and you guys are wonderful. Uh, well, the general public, um, but uh, people are worry as a whole. I want to thank you for you know, for this time, for listening to us, for believing in us, for making us your 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 kind of uh, um, um, uh, uh, your, for making us your source of uh, information so to say you're wonderful we promise we're never going to disappoint you we we'll give it to you just like you know the bbc will be, I mean, we'll give it to the americans so you know and the general public as a whole i just want to thank you thank you so much for listening to voice of our worry thank you thank you for being with us it's my pleasure having you around soon all right thank you so much and happy birthday yeah thank you, thank you. viewers at home I'm sure you've heard a lot from the brain behind Voice Over Worry. He has said a lot. He appreciates you guys for being supportive. We say thank you for joining us and stay tuned for next.